and we normally say that eyes are twins. One cannot operate without the other. Hey everyone, hope you've been well uh, and you've been learning and thank you for the new subscribers, for your positive feedback, for allowing us to continue learning together. I, I see your comments and I appreciate them. So today we continue learning about first, a little bit of first aid and today I introduce eye injuries and because you said you want visitors. I brought in again drum rolls. Hi. <laughs> it's Erin again. And yeah, when she's home, I become your dummy. So Erin. <laughs> <laughs> Rebo. Hi people, thank you for welcoming back again. Um today we are going to learn about eye injuries, how to manage eye injuries. So people may acquire eye injuries from their workplaces or at home when they are doing activities like form work. You might be doing something and then anything, something enters inside your eye. You might be working with chemicals and this may result to any eye injury. So in case there is exposure to a chemical or something has entered into your eye, then you'll have to wash off that particular Thing. And you do that, we say, with water that you can drink because you know that you love yourself, you cannot drink water that is dirty. So when you're administering first aid to a person, make sure you use water that you, as a first aider, you can drink. So I'll assume that my casualty has incurred an injury on this eye. Assuming that it's a chemical that has entered this eye, I will not come to flush the eye in this direction because there is risk of transmitting that particular hazard or chemical from one eye to the other. So what I'll do, I'll either choose to incline on the opposite side, then wash off, make sure you wash off that particular eye with water or you can choose to bend like that face front whereby in places or companies that have the inverted eye washes the water just comes out and pours inside your eye and pours out whatever content is in your eye so from there now we'll have to dress this casualty so that they can go to hospital for further checkup and we normally say that eyes are twins one cannot operate without the other what i mean is if i want to look towards the right side I cannot choose that this right eye to look towards the right side and this other one on the left they'll have to move simultaneously so what we will do we will come and take our iPads sterile iPads sterile means clean so the iPads should be clean and we say that they come as a pair so come place your iPads on the casualties eyes You can ask your casualty to help you support. And because one eye has been injured, we'll have to secure both eyes. As we said, eyes are twins. Then once you ensure that you have secured the iPads well, come and take a triangular bandage. Make a fold like this one. Then come and place it to support the iPads. Be careful not to block the casualties nose. Come and tie your knot. At the back
and now you can transport your casualty to hospital if the eye is bleeding it is best to ensure that the iPads are completely uh, and covered by this triangular bandage because we don't want uh, the blood to to drip as you go along the way it might increase a risk of cross contamination i hope this video was informative please remember to subscribe click your notification button see you next time bye bye